Now this week I get to be the minstrel minister, which means I wrote a song to share. This one is all about forgiving. And what is forgiving about? It's for giving love. We know that we're responsible for just how our life looks The ups and downs, the good and bad What leaves us feeling happy, what leaves us feeling sad Yet there's so much more to live in life And what we're all about For all strife in our awareness Comes from more than just our being And more than what we're seeing even if we don't know who's hurting, their healing's up to us. What? Get a clue, we're all one. Living the connection's not always fun. Yet we all pull our programs and replay memories that we draw from one single source without awareness, oblivious to remorse. Until we awaken, assume full responsibility. No one can be forsaken, not when we clearly see. Responsibility is part of unity. Responsibility covers all we think, we hear, and see. All that enters our world, opens our awareness of our hidden parts and programs, presenting opportunities galore to know more about love and forgiving, forgiving love. You see, it's pretty well known unless you live somewhere on a mountain top in some remote area all by yourself and you're a hermit. That we're responsible for our lives for co-creating the way our world looks. And what I never got until recently is we're also responsible for everyone and everything that comes into our awareness. Now this one is a little bit out there harder to grasp than just being responsible for what you're creating in your life. Someone or some situation or circumstance only comes into our awareness if there's a part of us playing that same deep underlying program. Replaying experiences, memories tucked away, all of it out of our awareness. See, all of us draw our decisions, our choices, our knowings from this oversoul, from this super consciousness. So we're drawing the same programs, running the same programs inside out of our awareness. So that if we find out somebody is struggling with an illness, with a condition, if we find out there's a whole village that's starving or there's a flood, the fact that it came into our awareness means we have a program inside of us that by clearing it, by sending love, by giving it love in ourselves, and we don't have to know the details of what it is, but just by loving it and asking for forgiveness and being thankful to the universe, to God, Creator, whatever word you use, it clears it out in us. And because we're all connected and all one, when it clears it out in us, it heals it. And the other person who we may never know their name, never met them, don't know anything about them except we're running the same program. And as connected divine spirits, what happens for us happens for that person, for those people also. If you really want to get a better understanding of what I just introduced to you, go and read this book. It's by Dr. Joe Vitale, written with Dr. Yu Lin. Dr. Yu Lin is a psychiatrist who went into this state 
mental hospital for the criminally insane in Hawaii. And by doing the practice of what I just described to you, a practice known as the modern self-identity Ho'oponopono, it's an ancient Hawaiian healing method that he studied and updated. He cleared out this mental ward. He turned around a prison of people who were shackled and in seclusion, where there were constant attacks, where the staff was constantly turning over because it was such a dangerous place. And without ever meeting or working with anyone directly, he healed all those parts, programs in himself, and simultaneously healed it with the inmates. And in all but two cases, they got better. People who it was never thought could get better. So please, go pick up this book, Zero Limits. Joe Vitale, Dr. Yu Len, read it. Grasp the concepts, and most important of all, practice them in your daily life. Because everything, the food we eat, the car we drive, our computers, everything, has an awareness and a spirit. And when you communicate with it and love it, it responds positively. I know that sounds really weird, but I've been talking to my car and my electronics and running energy for years, and you know what? My last car, I got 314,000 miles. It responded to my energy, to my communications, to our relationship. We're all related, all of us, even the people whose names and faces we'll never know or see.